G'day y'all, uh, welcome to today's video which is the basics on how to shave. So what I'm not going to cover today is uh, aspects on shaving cream, uh, on the different types, on the use of straight razors, uh, cutthroat razors, safety razors, um, and I'm steering away from anything to do with shaving brushes, uh, badger hair, boar hair, any of that. So this is just the basics. Nice and simple if you don't know how to shave or you really want to get to the basics of how to shave. That's what we're going to cover today. Now for the actual shave itself, okay, what I'm going to go through is what you see in front of you here. You'll have your razor blade. We use the one where we can use actually we buy the cartridges for them and I'll explain all about um, how you can really get frugal um, into your shave um, on later episodes. But needless to say you need your razor blade and um, you don't have to buy a real expensive one. So the one that I use and recommend uh, is one with a, a pivoting head. So probably the cheapest one, best quality one you can get with a chip with a um, pivoting head. Um, is the best for you because funnily enough your uh, areas that you shave around your face um, aren't square okay the different curvatures and best to get a, um, a pivoting head so it can actually follow the contours of your face um, so make sure that your razor blade is sharp um, it's very important if, if you're going to cut with a or shave with a um, dull blade you are going to um, inflict rashes or uh, cuts and uh, scrapes so make sure that it is it is sharp and it's clean. We can use uh, different types of um, shaving creams and ointments uh, so there's, a, there's oils that we can use there's also creams today what we're going to use is just a moisturizing um, shave gel nice and simple um, so we'll use that and also we're going to use the um, basin there with uh, hot water in it so each time you go through a run on the shave uh, you rinse the blade into the water and make sure it's clean and ready to go for the next run so that's the during the shave now for the after shave um, i always use a, a balm a nice balm um, as opposed to um, an after shave itself because the the after shaves tend to bleed tend to bleed abrasive or um, irritant to the skin so use a balm and then after you've uh, say five or ten minutes you can then apply the, uh, the aftershave itself to lessen the, uh, the chance of a reaction to your skin. Right so there we are nice and simple uh, what we'll go through now is we'll just go through the um, actual demonstration of how to shave. Right, so the first part of the shave is, like I said before, is the pre-shave. <clears throat> so what we've done here is we've filled up the basin with hot water straight out of the tap. So we haven't boiled the kettle or anything, so it's hot water. Um, the way I use the method there is to apply, is just place the hand gently on top of the water and then place it onto the beard and uh, just rub it in. Um, you can use a hot towel. Uh, but, you know, no fuss, no frills, just use the uh, hot water. So just using the hands into the hot water. Just adding that onto the beard. Just moistening the beard, you don't need a lot of water. So okay, the next step then is to get some of the um, shaving lotion, cream or, or oil, what you're going to use. Just, we're just going to use the gel in this, and you don't need a lot, okay, so don't need to is an excess amount. So that's fine, that'll cover most of your beard. If you need more, then obviously grab more, but don't, don't use an excessive amount. It just clogs the um, razor um, and, and is wasting the cream. 
Right, so now I'll apply this to the freshly moistened beard. Right, so applying the shaving cream to the beard. I'm going to go right up just past the earlobe. Bring that down. Obviously using the mirror you can see where you're at. Just smooth it in. Okay, once you've covered all the beard, um, it's then okay, so prior to commencing the first shave, uh, it's a good idea to uh, lubricate the razor itself just by dipping it in the water like that. Um, so your beard's moisturised and now the razor's ready, ready to go. In between each each particular stroke or two or three strokes, and it's always a good idea to tap the razor into the water, get rid of all of the hair and the shaving gel or cream that's on there, so you've got a, a nice clean surface, sharp surface to commence and continue shaving with. Right, so we're going to commence shaving now, uh, just, just where the earlobe um, is level with the um, face there. That'll be our first point. So we're just doing a nice straight line down the side of the face initially, and then always go under the chin. Uh, be your first, first pass. Let's clean that off, and then commence again. On the top, all the way down to the bottom. Finish pass. Clean the razor blade off. So we've got um, quite a thick um, beard, the ends of the beard on at the moment, but because I've got a, um, a sharp blade, um, it's cutting through it. Quite well. And you can see there when you get to the underside of the chin here, you, you can take a few um, strikes at it initially to get through it because it is um, uh, the contour of your your face makes it a little bit more difficult plus it, it also seems to be a little bit thicker underneath those areas there. Um, same with the, the moustache, start onto that. Now, I'm just going to do half, pretty much just the half of the demonstration um, because once you've done one half, the other half is essentially the same. Um, other things to remember is, um, like I said, the, the hair underneath the, the chin and around the side here, um, after your first couple of strikes, you just feel it and see if it is smooth. Um, if there are some bristles left, uh, the other method of doing that is to go up and that way you'll get a closer shave. So essentially what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and I'll do the rest um, of my face and I'll bring you back and show you the difference between a half side and then how we apply the um, aftershave to um, complete the shave. The, the end of the shave, what you need to do is uh, empty all of the um, manky shave water out, so it's got all the cream and all the hair in there, let that flood down into the uh, the elves of the sink and get rid of it. And uh, then to use oil like to finish off with um, warm water um, just over the area that we just shaved. And then wipe it off so it's effectively dry. Get rid of any of the shaving cream that's left over. And then apply our um, so I like to use our Shave balm, just a couple of drops, maybe a lot, to work that into the face. And if, if it 
it, uh, if it's your way, and uh, apply some aftershave. I always do that uh, sort of five or ten minutes later so it doesn't irritate the skin. Still get that a nice aroma. It doesn't, um, you know, the alcohol base on most of the um, shaving creams won't, or correction aftershave um, won't um, irritate your skin. So, so there you have it, a nice um, basic how to. Um, stay tuned to um, my other videos on this subject and I'll show you how to do um, quite frugal on how you um, approach your shave and um, how to get a longevity out of your razor blade. You can get um, two or three months out of a razor blade, funnily enough, so I'll show you how to do that. So you don't need to be a millionaire to shave every day, you um, just need to have to do it um, frugally. Alright, thanks for your time.